YouTube channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve these bomb, bouncy, fluffy curls for curly hair. Does that sound weird? Because, you know, teaching you how to do curls on curly hair? Weird? Weird? Probably weird. So before I get into this hairstyle tutorial, I'm going to show you guys kind of what the products that I'm using and how to start this hairstyle off. Um, you want to start off with your hair already stretched and if you don't know what that means It pretty much means where your curls are brushed out every curly hair girl knows that as soon as you wash your hair it instantly shrinks and Ends up up here when really it's like down here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But you want to start off with your hair stretched because that's gonna be the best way to make sure that your curls that you make are smooth are frizz free and that they are as long as they possibly can be. There are so many ways that you can stretch your hair. It's totally up to you how you want to do this. For me personally, I like to stretch my hair with a blow dryer. Right after I wash and treat and condition my hair, I will go in with a blow dryer and instead of round brushing it straight, I will literally just take a normal brush, just like this, and I will run the brush through my hair while blow drying. If you have curly hair, you are gonna end up with a big, massive, Afro. I wish I had saved the photo that I had taken over the weekend from when I stretched my hair. Um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you definitely saw that pic. Um, my hair just ends up like this big frizzy poof ball thing. I guess I'm gonna go with. It ends up with the thing, a thing that's on my head. But bear with me, once you get through the tutorial, it will it won't end up looking like that. I, I promise, I promise. So you're gonna wanna blow dry your hair. If you don't want to blow dry your hair, you can let your curls air dry. And as it's air drying, just kind of like brush gently through it, starting from your ends, working your way up, and it'll air dry into a big poof. I'm gonna grab a curling wand. There are a bunch of curling wands that you can use depending on the length of your hair. If you have super, 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 super long hair, then I do not recommend using a very small barrel because that's gonna take you forever. So maybe go with a barrel size that is comfortable for your hair. For me, I know personally for my like shoulder length hair, I like to use really, really small barrels. So using the Helen of Troy Professional Curling Iron. This is the curling one that I'm going to use and that's going to help me get these super defined curls. So yeah, that's all that you're going to need. Plus look like a hair clip, plus hair clips, and a pick for your hair, and that's it. So if you'd like to see how to achieve this hairstyle, then just keep watching and let's get started. So I'm going to grab my heat protectant and I'm going to spray this throughout my hair. Trying to avoid burning myself in the face. I'm just gonna make sure it's all in there. And then I'm going to grab my hairbrush because I haven't brushed my hair in a couple of days. And then like I do any hairstyle or like I blow dry my hair, I always section my hair into like smaller sections, working my way up. This way I can make sure that I don't miss any spots because the last thing you would want to do is like start curling your hair from this. And then the back of your head looks like this. So you always want to section your hair into smaller sections. That's just going to ensure that, you know, you don't miss anything because you never want to miss anything. Never. So for the tutorial, I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. Like, I just figured that doing a talking or talk through explain tutorial would be a lot more personable than me just doing a voiceover. Because I feel like all my tutorials have been voiceovers. And I just... As much as they're great and they're easy, I just want to talk, so I'm going to talk. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a small section of hair just above or this little tiny section right here. And I'm just going to kind of like run my fingers through the hair to make sure that all the hairs are smooth. And then I'm going to grab my curling wand. So to achieve a bigger, thicker wave or bigger, thicker curls, you always want to curl your hair in different directions. That'll make sure that the curls don't blend together. If they do end up blending together, then you end up looking like uh, Sandy from Greece. Unless you want to take a trip back to the 60s, then um, go for it. But I'm going to do it so we get that big, voluminous curl. Because I love big hair. God knows I love big hair. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my curling wand and holding it downwards. By holding it downwards and praying to God that I don't burn myself, you're going to... Grab the hair and you're just going to wrap it around. So for the first curl, I'm going to curl it away from my face. 
So I'm just going to wrap it around like that, and I'm going to hold it for maybe five seconds. Has it been five seconds? I think it's been five seconds. And I'm just going to release. And you're going to get like this little tiny, as you can see, this little tiny baby curl. Baby curl. A bubble curl. So you're going to get this little tiny curl. Leave it. Don't touch it. Don't pin it. Don't do anything to it. Just leave it. Because when you are done, completely done your whole entire head, that's when we're going to start shaking it up and playing with it. If you play with it now, it's going to fall and that's not fun. So just leave it, let it live. So then the next section, I'm going to grab another small section of hair. I'm going to smooth it with my fingers. And again, I'm going to curl this section towards my face now. So this is going to make sure that this curl and this curl don't meet and become one. Because we don't want to become one, we want them to stay separate alone, single forever, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my curling wand, I'm going to place it against my hair, and I'm going to wrap my hair around it. And I'm going to hold that there for about five seconds and really try not to burn myself. I'm going to let it go. And then again, I'm going to get this little tiny baby curl and by the end of this I'm gonna end up looking like god knows Goldilocks I'm probably gonna end up looking like Goldilocks but please just bear with me I'm gonna fast forward through this next couple of parts so we can get through it but I'm just gonna follow the same technique throughout all over my head okay let's go yeah, I my love to you shake it out. If you have fine hair or straight hair and you know your curls are prone to falling, then I would suggest grabbing some hairspray. I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to kind of shake the curls out and kind of comb them through with my fingers. So just kind of very gently pulling the curls apart. I'm going to continue combing out my hair until I achieve my desired fullness toss these around a little bit. Now I'm going to grab my pick and I'm just going to kind of fluff up the roots just a little. Just the roots, not the curls. You don't want to like pull the pick. Like when you're picking your hair, you want to like slide it in and kind of pull just a little bit and then let it go. You don't want to run the comb like the pick completely through your hair because then you're just going to lose your curls and that just kind of defeats the whole purpose of doing this hairstyle awesome. and that's it that's how i achieve these bouncy voluminous curls and this is kind of like my go-to hairstyle whenever i'm going out to a special occasion it's just a great way to make sure that you get like a little bit more defined perfect curls that are 
also voluminous and also really cute and great for the spring and summer season. I know I'm going to be rocking this hairstyle a lot more in the summertime because it gets hot and humid AF in Canada. So to make sure I keep my hair looking up bomb diggity all the time because I know very well as soon as I straighten my hair in the summertime as the moment I step outside it's like instant poodle instant in seconds so this is probably going to be my go-to hairstyle and it's just great to give your hair a break and like use very little amount of heat there are other ways of achieving this hairstyle heatlessly if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that then let me know down below I'm still trying to work out like the kinks and deets on how to perfect these kind of curls heatlessly. Trust me, it, heatless curls are not easy on curly hair. As weird as that sounds, it's like, I don't know if any of you curly hair girls can relate to me, but like every time I see a heatless curls tutorial on YouTube and it's like, oh, just add water and like roll it into a bun and pin it and let it air dry. I'm like, yeah, okay. I spray water on this and it's like, bye Felicia. So that's going to be interesting but i am going to work out the deets i promise because i want to make sure that there is a heat safe hair safe way to achieve this look without damaging your hair lord knows my hair would thank me for it so i'm gonna keep playing around with my curly hair see what i can come up for you guys if you guys have any other ideas on what you would like to see then let me know down in the comments below oh and if you recreate this hairstyle please tag me in it I would love to see you can either use hashtag Ashley Marie which is like my username on Instagram so you can either hashtag me you can at me or you can tag me tag me just get at me because I would love to see how you guys look with these big awesome curls lord knows if your hair is longer than mine then your curls are gonna look so bomb and I would just die I would honestly I would just die all over your photo I would just die so make sure your profile is open tag me I want to see so <laughs> and that's it um so yeah I'll leave all my social media deets down below so come follow me on Instagram and come talk to me because you know I love you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and I will see you guys later bye So... Do you guys ever like put on a shirt and then realize that it's the worst shirt that you could have possibly put on for what it is that you're doing? <laughs>